here's what I'm bringing for my upcoming Appalachian Trail through hike. This is the Palente V2. I've used Palente products for years and have been a fan since their original Ultralight Simple Pack, which I also own. And I line my pack with a garbage contractor bag for extra weatherproofing. My shelter is the Z-Pax Altiplex, a tent that sets up with a single trekking pole. And at the weight and features this shelter offers, it's been a favorite of mine since I've been using it for the last couple years. The trekking pole I use is the Seanock Carbon Fiber Trekking Pole, which is sturdy enough and has the length needed to be the frame for my Altiplex. My sleep system is an inflatable sleeping pad and quilt combination the very popular Neo Air Uberlite full-length pad, which offers an excellent comfort and warmth for the weight in the Enlightened Equipment Revelation 20-degree quilt. I do also carry a luxury item, which is my pillow, the ultralight clay brick. Kidding, everyone. Obviously. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to leave them down below. My clothing system is simple. It takes advantage of multiple levels of layering to prevent any redundancies and to make sure that I'll be safe even down to frigid temperatures. First things first is my base layer, or first layer. My shirt varies. It can be anything from a synthetic or a cotton button-up or even a t-shirt. It just depends on the season and what I can find cheaply. For pants, I use simple running shorts. Really, any will do. You know, I've tried to ditch pants entirely, but I've found businesses don't serve you, and for a man specifically, it becomes almost impossible to find a hitch in a town. I'll be bringing a pair of thermal compression pants, which I will be wearing every day and sending home as soon as the weather warms up enough. I use two pairs of socks. One is a pair of longer socks, and one is a pair of shorter socks. One is darn tough, and one is smart wool. And I have two pairs of underwear that I will be rotating as well. My shoes are the Topo MT4. I found these very recently and have been very impressed with them so far. To start off, my mid layer is the Palente Fleece, which is what I'm wearing right now. I wear this almost all the time unless it's hot out or I have a long climb ahead. The thumb holes and the higher pocket make it convenient when hiking and when using a hip belt. My rain jacket is a simple pair of frog tugs. They can also be used as an extra layer of insulation when it's really cold. My puffy jacket is the Mont Bell Down Jacket. I've used this thing for years and it is incredibly warm for how light it is. I generally only wear it when I'm at camp or if it's really, really bone cold outside. Speaking of if it's bone cold outside, I have a pair of Mont Bell Tachyon wind pants that I put on when it's really windy and cold if my legs need an extra layer of insulation. And for the smaller items, I use a fleece beanie, a buff, which is my pillowcase that I stuff unused clothes in, a light pair of gloves, and a ball cap and sunglasses. Next is my food system. I don't use a stove. I cold soak, which is letting the food rehydrate until it's ready to eat. Currently, I'm using a Talente gelato container with a plastic spoon, but I mean, these can vary depending on what's available to you in your local grocery store. I filter my water with the regular size soy squeeze, not the mini. For me, the mini's water flow is not quite there. I want to get my water and be on my way. And I generally carry two one liter bottles of water. Uh, this can vary depending on the season and if I'm expecting longer water carries. I store my food with the air sac which admittedly does weigh more than a bear hang setup, but I've always enjoyed the convenience of just walking up to a tree at the end of the day and safely tying the bag to it. And after years and years of using this thing, I've never had a single problem with it. My electronics are pretty straightforward. I have a phone, a 20,000 milliamp battery bank. Keep in mind, the reason I have a battery bank this big is because I'm going to be filming and posting that content here. I also carry a watch, which is the Fitbit Inspire 3, not only to track time, but also for the alarm function and many of the other features that the Fitbit offers. The alarm function saves the battery life on my phone overnight, so I don't have to keep my phone on. The headlamp that I use is the Nightcore NU25, which I modified the band on the back to make it lighter. And the camera that I use is the GoPro Hero 11. Of course, the assorted cords that go along with my electronics and a pair of earbuds. And I carry my camera setup in this fanny pack by Hightail Designs. All right, 
Now, with the main categories covered, what's left is first aid items and other random various gear choices. I carry KT tape for potential blisters, uh, duct tape to fix any gear issues until I get to the next town. I also carry a bag, a uh, small bag of Benadryl and ibuprofen, which are rarely used, but very nice to have when you need them. My biggest luxury item is not the clay brick. It is an umbrella. Yes, I am carrying an umbrella. In testing, not only is it convenient for freezing rain conditions, but it also makes filming much more consistent in the rain. This is a must-have item for me on the Appalachian Trail because, let's face it, it rains all the time on the AT. Then, for the smaller items. A mini Swiss Army knife, a toothbrush and toothpaste, toilet paper because I found leaves and rocks just do not work as well, and some other assorted items like hand sanitizer, a wallet, a trowel for a proper leave no trace backcountry business, random assorted ziplocs for storage, patch kits for my air pad, a small sewing kit for minor gear repair, and a mini Bic lighter. And that is everything for a total base weight of 8.9 pounds. Click that subscribe button to follow my future through hike and let me know if you have any questions and I will answer them.